I'm 89. Oh, but you're good. My handicap. <laughs> <laughs> you're using a pliers to open your microwave? You are my sunshine. I just got on my undies. Oh, shouldn't have I said that? Couldn't throw that tostita jar away. I can see you're gonna have trouble. <laughs> We're going to the cemetery to visit the dead. I'm a little bit weird. Hi, I'm Krista, and my grandma is one of my biggest role models. Not only is she hilarious, but she is one of the most selfless people I've ever met. And at 89 years old, she lives an incredibly active lifestyle. She's super involved in the church. She does things like teach pie making classes. You can't go anywhere without anybody stopping and talking to her. So I thought it would be fun to do an experiment to see what it would be like to live an entire day start to finish in my 89 year old grandma's life. Hello, my name is Gladys Kraus and I am Krista's grandma. The first thing I do, I get up, I go to the bathroom, which I do about two times every night. Well, at least you don't wet the bed. No. <laughs> and then I go out and get my paper and lay that on the table. Then I come in here and put on my makeup. How long does it usually take you to do your makeup? We'll see. I gotta get some rosy cheeks here. My hair is gray, but my eyebrows are black. <laughs> And that's natural. So I'm a little bit weird. And then I've got a cowlick back here. You see it? Cover it up. <laughs> but you're going to the beauty shop. Why do you need to well, cover it up? Well, I don't want anybody to see that bald spot back there. So she said she doesn't put her lipstick on until after she eats, because <laughs> then she has to brush her teeth. She don't want to mess up her lipstick. <laughs> okay, so we already got the paper. Now you're getting out all of the juices. Vegetable, milk, and orange juice? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Why does it say $2.49? It was on sale. Extra Raisin Raisin Bran. Okay, these are my options. And here's another one. That was only $1.59. You got a bargain on that. Yeah. So do you perfectly set the table like this before every meal? That's not perfectly set. It just looks so nice. Oh. <laughs> it does? How do you do it? I don't. <laughs> Now, the first thing we do is pray. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, who eats the fastest, gets the most. <laughs> See, I don't like vitamin D because I feel like it. It's really? like, yeah, but I'll drink it. Oh my. Okay, so we gotta brush our teeth, I'll put on my, our lipstick. And I have to put on my clothes yet. I just got on my undies. Oh, shouldn't have I said that? Have you have a nightgown on. on. My, yeah. So here's your outfit, looking good. Are you talking about me? Yeah. Oh, something I had hanging in the closet for a couple years. I'm about to trust my 89-year-old grandma to drive. <laughs> they went like this and she said to her grandkids, what, what, what are these at? And they said, that, oh grandma, that's the Hawaiian love signal. AKA the middle finger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Going in. Okay. Okay, so your hair's all shampooed. It looks great. How long is this gonna last? Till next Thursday. So you do it once a week every Thursday. So you yes. just take a bath. You don't even have a shower, right? No. You just take a bath and then that, you only have to do your hair once a week. Uh -huh. and my grandma's so popular that she had two oh. voicemails. I heard her checking them and now she's on the phone with somebody oh, already that. making plans. What should we do now? Well, I usually watch The View. All right, so we're gonna sit back and watch <laughs> The View. <laughs> a soup cooker. Sous chef. No, chef. Another phone call. Hello? The popularity of this woman. Okay, well, Grandma, we just got a visitor. Who is this? Say who you are. Ben Krause. I'm gonna go play piano for the nursing home. That was so nice. We just got out of the care home. Where are we going now, Grandma? We're going to Gambino's. Eat some, <laughs> eat some, uh, what are we gonna eat? <laughs> I'm right. eating what you're eating. No, no, no. You eat what you. I'm gonna eat what you're eating. I have to be you. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. So we finished eating, and I had two slices of pizza and one dessert pizza because that's exactly what you ate. Yeah. So yeah. we're twins. So we might have yeah. to both poop at the same time. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now we're gonna take a nap. We're gonna take a nap to let our food digest. And now we're gonna make some pie. No joke. It's been a busy day, and I honestly feel like I kind of need a nap, and I usually don't take one. Is this a secret recipe? Should we not give no, it away? No, 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 no. No, no, no secret no. Grandma Gladys recipe? No, no, no. You think I'm really crafty, don't you? You're not? No. 
So this is the recipe she's using yeah. from the back of a, a lard, lard. From, from the back of a lard container. What is lard? It's fat for pigs. Do your hands get tired doing that? Huh. -uh. Since I am Gladys today after all, I guess I have to do it. Or her hand's just getting tired and she's pawning it off on me. My hands are so greasy right now. Oh my God. <laughs> you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Ha ha ha, you and me. Little, Little brown jug, don't I love thee? Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, what did I do wrong? Put it there and you let it sit there. Now we're gonna cut the apples. But she holds it with her thumb like this, which seems very dangerous. Like that? I can see you're gonna have trouble. <laughs> you ain't never gonna get anywhere. <laughs> Try dipping it in there. Grandma, remember when you used to feed me butter on crackers? Ew! Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's good! It's Saltine! Good. And this is four apples okay. in one pie. Yes. Four big Don't, apples. Okay. Grandma doesn't measure, she says just sprinkle measure. cinnamon on it. Get two fingers like that and then go like that. Make sure to wash your hands before you do this, everyone. Hit the lights! Sha -da -da. I don't know how she does it. I'm sneaking away for a bathroom break, break because it's pretty chaotic in there. Let's hope it's not burning. Oh, look, it's beautiful. Where are we going, Grandma? We're going to the cemetery to visit the dead. Let's go She said she likes to help make the cemetery look nice. Who else? Now we're in front Great of Grandpa's grandpa. grave and we're gonna say a prayer, right? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have soup for supper. Okay, so we got some water boiling with some noodles that grandma got. So we cut up all of our chicken and veggies and now we're putting it in. And look at that homemade soup. I'm here for dinner, yes, with my mom, because um, she's the best cook ever. So you just came hi. after work to eat so you could get a free meal out of her? Yeah, that's what I did. I've never had coffee with dinner, but it's about to happen. Delicious. Well, everyone left to go on a walk, and what are we going to do? We're going to clean the dishes. We're washing cans, too. Wow. And what are you going to use these for? No, I put them in the recycle. Good, so she recycles. Oh. We just finished doing the dishes, and I deserve some more coffee, because it's been a long day. It's only like, what, 8 o'clock? 7.15. 7.15? We've yeah. done so much. Yeah, we made a lot of cracks today, didn't we? We did. Okay, so you wash your face before you take off, or before you change into your jammies? Yeah. So you just use water? Yeah, and that soap there. Hand soap on your face? Did you ever see something that said face soap? Yeah, <laughs> they sell it. <laughs> they do? Yeah. If I wake up tomorrow with rash all over my face <laughs> from calling you. Is this an anti-aging wrinkle face cream? I got this from Teresa. Okay, we got that done. No, wow, you, you really coated on. When I was growing up, you used to wrap your hair with toilet paper. Do you still do that? I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Then when I get up in the morning, I don't have to do anything. It's just all ready to go. You don't have any reason to do that though. You're just doing it because I'm doing it. I'm doing it because this is your life. and Oh, that's right. I'm living it. That's right. Aren't you but ready to go back to your old lifestyle? You got head enough old grandma. Hey, I, I think you're you're a busier woman than I am. I just sit in front of a computer all day. You're out. Yeah, I about. probably I probably am. I go to the store all the time and I go to the college gardens and I go to church and I go to the library yeah. and then I go to the old lady card club and see now there when I wake up in the morning it'll be just perfect. 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 Okay. There, Krista. There. How was your day? Good? Great, wonderful. I love you, Grandma. I love you too. You're a sweetie. We're ready for bed. Nighty night. So I'm back home, and now that I'm getting back into my regular routine, getting ready to go to work, I realized that one of the biggest things that I learned from my grandma is that a lot of times I just go through the motions of the day and don't really take the time to sit down and appreciate each moment. And I really feel like my grandma lives in the moment. The handle broke off. I think spending time with her has made me realize the importance of slowing down and appreciating the moment you're in and spending time with 
your friends and your family and the people that care about you. And also, Grandma, I think I learned that age is really nothing but a number. How do you feel about <laughs> turning 90? Well, I always said when I turn, turn 90, I'm going to go to the nursing home, but now I don't say it anymore. <laughs>